All right. Char. Yes? No, no, go down. Seriously? Yeah. What is going on with Periscope? Wait, I think we got it. Oh, we got yes. It. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank God the Knicks had a better night than um, me with this Periscope. I got to figure out a new way to do these because Periscope is, uh, is, is not its best self. But, um, hey, whatever. I don't care about anything anywhere right now because that just fucking happened. Holy shit. Um, my, my daughter woke up earlier because I made a loud noise. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah? Daddy made a noise? What noise did Daddy make? It was like a banging noise, right? It was like a clapping um, the Knicks win by a bazillion points. Um, I don't know what just happened other than the fact that the Knicks had a lot of three point shots and, um, they have a real coach. Um, you know, I could, uh, sit here and talk for God knows a very long time about a lot of the performances that we saw tonight. Alfred Payton just absolutely taking every fan's words and shoving it right back in our faces because I mean, Here's the thing, though. He wasn't good <laughs> the last two games, and he wasn't good in the preseason. He was bad. And I think he owned the fact that he was bad, and he came out and did whatever he did last night on the court after the game. And he came out tonight with, um, that's the best game, I think. Well, it's certainly the best game he's ever played as a Nick, and I, I think that might be the best game he's ever played in his life. He was like a man possessed, which, you know, you put that together with Randall, and you got these two guys who they know fans want them out of town and they're playing hard and they're playing smart and like, yeah, Peyton wasn't good the last two games. He didn't let it get to him. To me, that goes right back to Tibbs. Um, you know, Kevin Knox, like diving on the floor, Tibbs, Mitchell Robinson. I, I like, I don't re- like Mitchell Robinson. People would talk about Mitchell Robinson's defense last year. And I, I, I'm so high on Mitch and I didn't have the heart to tell people they were off when they were like, Oh, he should be in the running for all defense. No, he shouldn't have been in the running for all defense because he was making as many stupid plays and foolish plays and silly plays and sloppy plays as he was making highlight plays. Now you watch Mitchell Robinson and my God, he put on a clinic tonight in how you protect the paint against a team that everything they do is predicated by getting into the paint and doing things once they get there. And that was a lot. Some of it was Julius Robinson, who also played some great post defense as well, but a lot of it was Mitch as well. Um, Kenny Payne, absolutely. Thank you. Chris Persiain and my former intern, now CEO and uh, executive vice president of, of Nick's Film School. Um, you want to come say hi? What do you think of Mitch Robinson's ah! defense tonight? No? Not a fan? Anyway. Um yeah, but just, you know, it's a real coaching staff. They have the guys. I don't, I mean, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it's just, you it is. Julius Robinson. Everyone's Julius Robinson? So you did say. No, I meant to say that Julius was, was, uh, whatever. <laughs> Julius played some good post defense as well, but it was mostly Mitchell Robinson. That's what I meant to say. What are, I mean, can you blame me? I'm ecstatic. That's the best performance this team has put together in literally years. I know they had the win in Houston or against Houston last year. Um, You know, there were some good wins in the early uh, Porzingis one season where they were decent for like a month. But that is the most high quality win against a good team that came out in the third quarter like they wanted to kick the Knicks ass. And the Knicks took their punch and they responded right back. And that probably more than anything is what I'm going to take from tonight is that the Knicks didn't fold. And the Knicks always fold. The Knicks have been folding for 20 years. And they didn't fold tonight. And so that was really refreshing to see. Um, <laughs> you know that I'm old, Chris. Um, what else? I mean, Alec Burks, what more can you say about him? Just a phenomenal pickup. Already thinking ahead to the trade deadline. Um, I thought Knox played good minutes. I know he couldn't hit a shot, but Knox was, uh, not even just putting the ball or diving on the floor for the loose ball. I thought he was just making smart. Knox is putting the ball on the floor now and driving – And it's not like you're expecting some flailing attempt at the rim once you get there. He's actually, you know, 
making good plays. He's making passes. He's thinking on the move, which is not something we saw of a whole lot um, in the in the previous years. You know, Barrett, I didn't think he played. Barrett, actually, of everybody, probably was the least impressive. But even he had some nice moments. And we have to end with Frank, right? We have to end with Frank. Frank did not have a great game um, because Frank had uh, some tentative moments, some hesitant moments, some Frank moments. But, man, uh, four for four from deep. I don't know like, where did that come from. No hesitation. God, I feel like um, – talk about old man i feel like al pacino in, in godfather three every time i think i'm out this this french kid pulls me back in um i don't know we'll see we'll see where we go from here um i don't, I don't know but this is a good one they needed this because new coach new everything you know you just you want to and they've been putting in the work and tibbs talked about this yesterday about how they've been putting in the work and they just have to feel like if we keep putting in the work behind the scenes, the results will come. And that gets old after a while if you don't see some results. So it was nice that they got a result tonight. Um, they're still a bad team. They will not hit this many threes very often. But this was really great to see. It was great to enjoy. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I was doing some really weird, crazy stuff with my hands, like to try to not clap and make noise. Um but that's listen. It didn't even work. She woke up anyway. So you know, uh, what can you do? All right, I'm gonna go record a podcast and then write a newsletter. Um, so uh, I will see everybody tomorrow. Or no, I'm not seeing everybody tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. See everybody on Tuesday. Um, cheers, early Happy New Years, and uh, yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs>